Okay, sir, I want to know what actually informed your decision to organize this fantastic program? Um, when, from experience over the years, um, having worked with young people across Nigeria, across Africa countries, um, around democracy and good governance, and one of the biggest gap we've seen is in the area of young people not showing interest in engaging government institutions. Yes, you have a couple of guys that just want to jump in and become politicians and become government officials, but nobody cares. Nobody cares to know how government institution works, what are the challenges um, those government institutions um, faces on a daily basis. And we thought it wise that if you have to move to the next level, we need to bring, um, I mean, to cross a bridge um, between young people and government institutions. Young people need to understand how government institutions work, um, even when you want to be a politician. If you do what you don't know, the problem you don't know, you cannot solve. So if you know how government institutions work, um, even if you eventually, because everything is still under probability, if you eventually become an elected official or government official, um, working professionally and excellently won't be a struggle. So with all of this, we discover that it's very necessary. And if there is any time that that should happen, it's now that we need to start um, creating a lot of awareness and creating a lot of networking between young people and different government agencies and institutions across the country. Okay, so now how would you rate the compliance of the government agencies, like uh, the department you send your student to? How yeah. would you rate their compliance? If you ask me, I would say it's fantastic. I remember, <laughs> like three weeks ago, I was discussing with someone and I was um, just cross-fertilizing idea on how we can further scale this. And the person told me that when you send letter to government institutions in Nigeria, that they don't listen. And I said, okay, we want to change that, that we've sent letter and the response has been fantastic. I'm happy. People, we send people to various um, government agency, they interacted with those guys, and the feedback has been amazing. It simply means that um, things are changing, but even though we can still scale, we can still do better. But believe me, things are changing, the experience has been good. Okay, now looking at your students now after this uh, semester one, so what is your next line of action? What is your plan? How do you think you can actually go around or across the country? Um, <laughs> we cannot be everywhere. Um, with the level of um, delegate we have in, in Calabar, I have no doubt at all that where we, we won't be able to reach those guys, um, people like my friends, um, we'll be able to reach those places, um, moving from one location to the other, engaging government institutions and all of that. But more importantly, um, the next level is our ability to collaborate effectively, not just um, youngsters or NED providing funding, um, but for delegate as well, when you are out of a program like this, there is, I don't expect people to be normal again, in quote. You should go out, begin to do amazingly, begin to do things that people think is not possible. You know, start a, a, a tractions of, um, of um, try to work with government agency and ensure that you see that through. Even when youngsters cannot push through with everyone around, dropping your own idea, this bring its own ideas. So we cover everywhere. So I see, I see, uh, I see prospects for every one of us. Okay, so lastly, I want to ask, you know, you've told us so much about your starting as a Youngstar Foundation. Yes. And I, I, concerning this program, I, I don't know, do you have any challenge putting up this program? If you do, can you share with us, what's your challenge? There will always be challenges. Um, I would say, to us in Youngstar, the biggest challenge, we always remain um, enlargement of the programs. We have, we have less than 50 persons in Calabar for a project that is this rich. Um, if we have enough funding and we have enough support, who says we can't um, have as much as 200 delegates? But then you have limited resources and you want to achieve 
a lot with that limited resources. If you ask me, I would say um, limited resources um, is still a bone of contention. But we are positive uh, that with little that we have, uh, we will we recover miles in millions. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, Pastor Kanodas.